ridiculous. There are more theme things that are themable in Civ 5, and I felt like the theming minigame was kind of interesting here. Um, in a Civ 6, it's really just, as far as I know, well, yeah, I guess it's the art museum and the archaeological museums, and I find them, like, really kind of annoyingly difficult to, to theme for. Um, part of it may have been that Civ 5 had a little bit easier um, trading for great works. I don't know. That may have been part of it. It helps that at some point there's a Civ 5 mod that let you, like, intelligently sort of shuffle your things around to complete theming bonuses some more. It doesn't help that the great works interface in Civ 6, I find, incredibly cumbersome. Um, this whole sort of sideways scrolling, it's not very good use of space, like, I would have liked a more concise list that may have been easier to see everything, I don't know. And we got that. So that's Christina herself. And then Sweden has Nobel Prize. Uh, whenever you earn a great person, you get Diplo favor. Uh, we get more great engineer points from factories, more great scientist points from universities. Um, as long as Sweden's in the game, there's more unique World Congress competitions. I think the various Nobel Prize competitions, or some more of them anyway. Uh, we can uh, use a builder to build an open air museum. It gives loyalty. That's interesting and different. Culture and tourism uh, for each type of terrain around. And then Queen's Bibliothek, unique to Sweden. Building provides two slots of writing, music, and any type of art, plus one governor total title. So I think this gets added to the uh, the government plaza or whatever. And our unique unit is the Carolean, Swedish unique a Renaissance unit that replaces the Pike and Shot. It's faster than Pike and Shot, has plus three combat strength per unused movement as well. So you can move fast, but if you stand still, you'll punch harder. We're gonna set the uh, difficulty to deity standard speed. I'll do continents map, I think. I'll do standard size this time. Um, do you want to tweak anything else? I often like to crank up the number of city-states. I like city-states in the game. Let's do it. Plus, if you're on a standard map, the max number of city-states is 18. And who doesn't love that, right? Let's go. I'm not going to choose anyone specific here. I want it to be a nice surprise who we're going to hit. I miss having the full motion video advisor sing when you were doing well in Shadow you and you messed up from Civ 2 because I'm sick like that. Oh yeah, the little dudes. And I like how they would change their outfit as the arrows went on. They were excellent. From the first stirrings of life beneath water. How about naming cities by Nordic members in chat? Age, <laughs> to man taking his first upright steps, mm. you have come far. There's a Sweden achievement. Build a now city your on quest. every terrain type From this early and build the open air museum in all the... On towards the stars. Minerva of the North, that doesn't sound easy. In what? Learning and wisdom, yeah, I'm going to open up the, uh, chose a life of the achievement culture page over that of power. Light up your kingdom with art and music. Do, do, do. Let Sweden I don't know about you guys. Do you need to open your achievement page twice? Because if I open it once, I think once it may be a little confused because I've got a private a profile set. But open it once, it just says, this private profile is private. And i got to open it again to get it. I think it's probably like a Steam server caching thing or something. I don't know. So if I control F, Sweden... Um, could you... Well, maybe it's Christina? Smorgasbord! As Christina, at the start of a turn, have cities in five different terrain types. Snow, tundra, desert, plains, and grasslands, and have open-air museums in all of them. Do you actually have to settle on the tile for that? Like, do you have to settle on snow? Or is it just snow within the border of a city? Hmm. Found a continent right away. We got burners. We've got stone. We've got some hills for production. Um, a little annoying about this copper here because this is sort of our campus uh, spot. We could, we could harvest the copper. It'll depend on exactly what we see. We'll, we'll poke around here. Maybe we don't need to do this, but we could harvest the copper for an early game boost because it's a bonus resource, so that's harvestable, right? An early game boost and then put the campus down there. Swedish copper mines. I wish the Calmar Union. We chose to do the achievement and do the other things, not because they're easy, but because they are hard. Lodrin, excellent uh, bring up there, and also, what do you think of my uh, my JFK impression? I think we settle in place. We could move to the coast, which would give us a Eureka for settling on the coast. It could be that. There's there a Mashriki Kingdom Civ. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. 
Oh, uh, Koala King, the mods I use, I uh, I don't use the CQUI or um, the other one I was using. I just use three standalone mods now. Uh, the more lenses, which is really the only one I truly need, is more lenses. Um, mostly for the uh, the builder focus, which should be built in the game, but that's a rant for another day, or probably in about 30 minutes, because that seems the way it happens. Uh, the other thing I use is the better espionage and the better trade screens, which are nice. Um, I could live without them, but they are pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to settle in place. Boom. It will remove the wood there, which is always a little bit unfortunate, but we're going to have to do. Now, uh, oh, tech-wise, um... Okay, we're not going to rush Astrology. Yeah, we got stone. We're going to have to do Stonehenge, not Undeity or anything like that. We might go for a very early mining, just because we do have... Um, I mean, we could build a quarry here. It allows us to pop this. We could build a few mines. I think I'm kind of okay with that. It allows harvesting of copper. Yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. So the big question is always this. If this were on a normal difficulty... I would very much like to do something that builds up the economy early. An early builder, maybe, or a scout to go find things. The problem is this being deity, and the fact that um, barbarians are going to spawn like nutso, I think we do have to start with a military unit. It saddens me every time we start a new game of Civ 6 on deity. It saddens me a little, because my instinct is always, I want to build up like my power and my economy. I want to get those things going, but I'm forced to like pop out a military unit. It is nice with these mountains here. One of the problems we had last game, um, is we did eventually crawl. I think we were second for science. I think we dominated everyone in science, except Sweden, who had, like, double R's, because Sweden. Um, we didn't have any mountains. We had no good campus locations, so that's going to be kind of nice. Cut trees for Ikea furniture? Nice. Um, I think, maybe I'll start with a slinger. So slinger is a little bit more greedy. Because I think starting with a warrior right away and then going slinger is the ultimate safe start for deity. But by doing this, we will be a little weaker by only having one melee unit. Because the slinger is kind of crap. But the whole thing is you get a slinger, get a kill on slinger so you can re you wreak your archery. And then it really starts moving things forward, which is nice. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe we don't need to chop the copper. Warrior, singer, settler. Do you think that? I think that's a perfectly uh, good start too. Would not complain about that. So, the thing is, we may still want to remove the copper because we may want this for a, a holy site. Warrior Slinger Petra. <laughs> you made me snort. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Chance of getting a barb that threatens you early is rare. Himura, have you ever played Dandy? Because <laughs> we've gotten quite a few starts where you like... You just start, and there's like a barbarian encampment that spawns near your city. Oh, and it's got horses. So then it just spa spamming horsemen, and you just lose the game. I mean, if we're not worried about re-rolling. Wow, this is the slowest scouting job I've ever done. The train here is just rough. If you're not, you know, if you don't mind doing a restart when that happens, it's okay. But if we're sort of going for, for safety to not lose to, like, RNG like that, we sort of have to play this way. Um, really good mountains. Our science is going to be pretty good. Yeah, quite a mountain range, I would say. Don't usually play on Daddy so far. Yeah, Himura, it's very different. What we're doing here would be absolutely the incorrect way to play on a lower difficulty. Um, because barbarians aren't as much of an issue. Uh, you can get religions, you can get wonders, you can do this, and that's the easiest way to snowball the game. The problem is on deity difficulty, you're always on the cusp of maybe just losing right away. So it forces you to play this like defensive and slower style, which can be a little heartbreaking, but we'll see. I'm actually wondering about going greedy though and going settler slinger into settler super greedy or maybe we just go builder into settler still pretty greedy maybe a little less so i think we i think we have to go fairly aggressive um, i think builder into settler actually makes the most sense because we want we want our basic production in stockholm to be a little bit better improve a little bit of terrain because right now of course we're working on improved tiles right this one's not bad at four total production, but these at three are, is, is pretty weak. Um, the fact that we don't have actually an exploitable resource within our initial ring of six here is a little disappointing. And actually, we have a mountain that's dead. We do have some desert back there. <clears throat> it's too bad there's no wonder in the game that makes desert tiles good. Just don't exist. That's why we lost last time! Oh my god, mind blown. There, you know, the reason we lost the game last time, we founded a religion, we built a bunch of wonders, including Petra. I mean, 
we knew from the start, like, this was not a, a proper game. Uh, something weird was going on, and there you go. So, we, we were doomed. Doomed! Oh! I really was not expecting the continent to end right here. So, this desert tile is 100% garbage. We can put a district on it. It's going to be fine. Zero tile Petra height. You almost made me choke on my matcha. I don't think there's a lot of territory to explore over here, but I don't like sending my warrior just away from my city. This is very defensive. Like, we are in a bottleneck over here. I'm really happy we choose the, chose the greed play. All right, so we do have a barbarian scoot, but he's not anywhere that close. I mean, he could be right over here, uh, but he definitely hasn't seen the city yet. All right, well, we can send you back over here. Oh, man, the greed play was 100% correct this game. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a... All right, we've got Minning. Um, we're going to wrap one of these two. Oh, right, well, I, I'm going to want the writing fairly early on, actually. So we're going to go into pottery. Um, although, see, normally on Deity, because obviously the, the more aggressive, good way to get started is to get your campus as early as possible. So pottery into writing. But again, on Deity, because you're always afraid of losing at any possible second, getting archery unlocked ASAP is super critical. So we'd like to go to Animal Husbandry, partially research archery until we get to Eureka. But I think we can afford to be greedier. So I think what we're going to do is sort of try to beeline towards writing here. Um, all right, if I do this, you can't, you know, you're not going to be able to escape north. So that's okay. Pyramid's interesting. Yeah. Uh, if I do this, you could move to the, the hill there, but I'm still going to be able to smack you. Is there a hurricane off the coast of our capital? Right at the start of the game. And that's just rude. Ah! Well, there's the camp. Oh, and they're fighting Grenada. Grenada. Right over here. Which is sort of blocking our expansion a little bit, but isn't too bad. And again, can provide a buffer versus the AI. Grabbing this pocket right over here, this is going to be our wall city. How much money do we have? Okay, not enough. So I didn't get the era score from clearing this, which is kind of unfortunate. Still hoping to get a kill on the slinger. It is not wisdom, but authority that makes a law. All right, let's, um, mm, okay, we're going to run Discipline and God King. We want to get our Pantheon. We're currently fighting some Barbarians. We'll do that. Uh, we don't have any recon units, so survey isn't useful. These guys, the color is too close to Barbarians, man. Is this going to be the kill? Okay, it should be. But if I do, if I did this, that would be the kill there. Okay, so I have to take the sling and hope it kills him. Yay! All right. The start of the game is going way too well. Build a new city in the northwest. Good, and more good campus placements. I mean, certainly, certainly. Um, Ferengi trade. We've already got the Eureka. We actually got that like instantly at the start of the game. Again, things are going a little weirdly well. All right, size three. Yeah, we're going to go for a settler right away. That's going to be fine. Um, we'll just uh, wander out a little bit over here. And for this, yeah, I'll just um, I'll just build some mines right away. We will want to go and hook up the stone. Frankie trade. Once you have their money, never give it back. As a rule of acquisition. More copper. Interesting. I keep seeing this ring of trees and thinking it's a barbarian encampment. Just messing with anyone else? I'm just like, at this point, my my visual AI when I'm playing Civ 6 is if you see a ring, like, picnic. Is that the first rule of acquisition? Okay. Mm -hmm. Another city-state. All right. A Great Wall of City-States is interesting, although at some point they may sort of prove to be a little bit of a problem. Um, I could buy a tile to get this. I'm going to be ready to chop that. I mean, the thing is we're going to want the boost of craftsmanship, too, uh, to improve tiles. And the problem is if I remove this, that's not going to count as a charge. I'm going to need another builder. Although we could probably buy it. We need to get some cash from something.
Alright, we'll just follow mine for now. No man ever wetted clay. <laughs> Your six month old so song lo er, son loves Diggy D Hole. Nice. Alright, pottery is done. Um no, I gotta hang back here because we wanna get a settle somewhere over here, and I don't want a barbarian encampment to suddenly spawn itself in position. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Hmm. Yeah, no, you're probably right. We should probably just keep the copper at this point. It's not it's not so bad. Uh I guess I'll do that for now. Okay. New city set quest, gain a trade route, boost, boost, boost. So we've met our third city state. There's some games we do not meet a third city state in time to get anything going with it. So that's also kinda nice. Um, I mean, I know I did go and increase the city-state counter. I didn't realize they would all be next to me, which wouldn't feel as bad if we weren't kind of pinned in by these mountains. Now, of course, we can embark and go around, and we will at some point, but we can't do that right this second. All right, but there's very few places where barbarians are going to be a thing in this game. Yeah, this, this deity round is going to feel incredibly different. I'm happy I went greedier start. All right, you stay there. Boom, build the min, get the boost of craftsmanship, and the wheel, and apprenticeship. I don't think I ever triple eureka like that. All right. Isn't triple eureka an achievement? I don't know. Is it? I didn't see anything pop up. So either it's not, I or maybe I already have it. Hey, we found a natural wonder! To the desert. Science, culture, gold. Wow! Those are some good uh, desert yeah, tiles over there, you guys. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if these count as the desert. Mojave Desert. Yeah, probably doesn't count as a regular desert tile, so I think building Petra here won't change that. But that is a pretty large desert. Edo's Creation! Hey, thank you very much for the contribution to the Whiskey and Chocolate Fund. Um, I... Where's the... Do I not have the correct page open? I do not have the correct page open to read those. My bad. Loading, loading, loading. Uh, you should try for Machu Picchu with all the mountains. Oh, oh okay. I was going to say, is there an achievement for that? No, okay. You just mean build Machu Picchu. Mmm. Mmm. Um, all right. Found. Tech boost. First discovery of a natural wonder. Alright, we've got you. Um, I would like a scout, but I think actually what I'm going to do is get a second builder here. Yeah, just to try to kickstart the economy. So, placement-wise, I think I actually might agree with the AI here. It's like here or maybe here. Either way, we get fresh water. Alright, fresh water bonuses. And either way, we can kind of grab a lot of stuff. This has more overlap with my capital. Doesn't really feel like much of an advantage. Plains, rainforest. Grassland, hills. Yeah, I think I like the idea of settling right here a little bit more. There's still going to be some overlap. But the thing is, um, overlap is rarely actually an issue. It's only a problem if both cities are huge. And need more tiles. Alright, the Great Bath has been built. Weird to scout with the Slinger. That's not usually how it goes, especially since the Slinger's pretty squishy. We should be able to fit a city in between here, especially if we're kind of quick enough. I still think our first city is going to go over here. I'm okay with that, but yeah. Oh, we finally met someone! Gilgamesh it's Gilgamesh! What a great beard. Nice and curly. Don't be afraid, I'm good to my friends. Mm hmm Well, we'll put that to a test. Hey! Reading boost! Nice, actually, because I'd forgotten to, like, sort of cancel that. Although, I think researching it directly, like, was going to be fine. Um, because delaying the campus, especially with what's going on here, wouldn't be very good. Alright, I'm going to put the warrior, I'm going to go around the mountains and see what's on the other side here. Um, I think I'm going to pull back with the slinger. 
fighting me. Oh, come on! <laughs> um. Hmm. All right, let's just move up here for now. I guess when we settle the city here, it'll clear the barbarian encampment, right? So we have the boost to astrology. Mm. Oh, we also have the boost to archery. Yeah, let's actually just make sure we get our archery going. That's the positive aspect. Craftsmanship, yes, because this gets us towards our new government. Um, we need a trader right away. 175. Um, we could buy a trader. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just buy it in the new city. Whereas here, I'm going to get one more warrior. Yeah, and then go into a, uh, a settler. How long before you expand to... Oh, you're going to expand over there. Ten turns. Okay. Let me actually move you over this way. So we can hook up the, uh, the cattle immediately. Stonehenge has been built. Trade route. And the barbarian outpost, yes, which we know about. It'll spawn three barbs when you clear the camp with the city. Oh, really? How do I feel about that? I don't know, but I ran into more mountains. This is not a mechanic I'm familiar with in Civ 6. Uh, another scout spawned for some reason, but yeah, no, that's fine. Done and done. Uh, all of a sudden I was worried. I'm like, no, no, it's Civ 6. They have built in defenses. It's okay. Um, yes, so I will purchase a trader from here and build. Actually, I think I'm just going to build the monument right away. I think I like that. Alright, I'm gonna get you to rest a turn before we go in here. Candy's got a trade mission. Um, we can do this without getting plundered. I think this is gonna be okay. Maybe it's a random number, gotten screwed before doing that? Okay. It may depend on if the camp is woke or not as well. Alright, so we got China. They're obviously going to want to spam a bunch of wonders. Uh, they'll also love me because I probably won't build a bunch of wonders. Okay, so we don't actually know where you are yet. Alright. Oh. Hello. Mm, come on here. So left KMT. Oh no! We know how brutal they are. Um, I, I don't want to start the campus yet, because ideally I'd like to build a campus here, I would say. Got you. Um, I think, actually, it's going to be another settler. That's what's going to happen, for sure. All right. Let's go and smack this guy around a little. Uh, I'll send you here, just in case we need a little acceleration with that. Come down here, just to pop that terrain. Lovely. Okay. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die... I want to go where they went. Uh, I'll just rest a turn. And, yeah, we're going to pasture this. Boost the horse riding. All right, everything we're researching is going to Eureka. It's feeling pretty good. Do you know Camp T still exists in Taiwan? Just some, well, eat, well, I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I was, like, you know actively aware of it, but yeah, makes, that certainly makes a lot of sense. Uh, Alright, Pantheon. What are we thinking? I mean, we don't have Tundra. <clears throat> um, right, Holy State's adjacent to the river is kind of nice. So the sun becomes a good spot for that. Uh, it's a lot of amenities and a lot of housing. Not all of our cities will be able to take uh, advantage of it, but just having a couple really alleviates the amenities thing. And I don't think we've ever gone River Goddess, which would change things up. Divine Spark, though, I think might be the better choice of those. We're going to keep going down options, because here's the thing. With Sweden in the game, there's going to be all the Nobel Prize things, which means you want great people points. And so this would give us more great people points, which might be useful. No, 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 no. Not, not stone core circles this time, uh, which is kind of unusual, but we do have that. Fertility rights, give us the free builder, which is nice. Religious settlements, give us that free settler. 
and we expand borders faster. It's a one-time bonus, but it's pretty strong. That's religious settlements. I don't think we've done that in a long time. Although, this did increase the production time of my next settler, but I think that still was okay. Um, you're actually going to swing this way instead. Dun, dun, dun. I guess you're going to come down here. And you... I actually think... I think we need to settle here it's and here. And, chocolate. and we want to do it as soon as possible. Um, every time an envoy gets sent to a city-state... Lil Rusky! Hey, Lil Rusky! Hold on, I can't quite read that. Um, six plus years of background watching. Figured it's about time I started giving back as promised all those years ago. Hope you've been keeping well, Quill. I've graduated with a first degree in English language and linguistics and now one year into marketing career. That's amazing, Rusky! Congratulations and thank you very much for the support. Cheers to you! That's awesome, thank you. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, every time you send an envoy to a city-state, they get an extra tile. So we want to take over this territory as quickly as possible. I think I might do the really aggressive move and run over here. I realize we will settle on the rice, which kind of sucks, but I think it's going to be okay to do that. And then we'll uh, grab that over there. I guess if you go into city, I think you'll heal a little quicker. It doesn't mean one turn without healing, but I think that's going to be okay. China, Pantheon of God, Initiation Rights. Oh, are you actually going to try to leave? Interesting. How many turns we got? Okay, getting there. Early Empire boost. Finish you off that way. There we go. Bronze working Eureka. Very nice. Uh, and you have a promotion available. So, late game, I like going Tortoise on the melee ones because it helps them go and siege out and take cities. Uh, but early game, I definitely want Battle Cry so we can win those battles. What's the West Mountains? We don't know yet. I mean, China, apparently. And gives as many useful objects. We don't need God King because we have our Pantheon. Uh, probably I'll just grab Urban Planning here. Um. We're going to build some units. Yeah, we could probably drop out of Discipline for now. I don't know if we're going to build a unit quite yet, but we'll be ready to go. And I'm not too worried about Barbarians in this map, which is pretty unusual. All right, Early Empire we want because we want the government with more options. Um, I could upgrade you to a Archer in two turns, and it is fairly cheap. That's probably important to do that. Wouldn't mind popping out maybe two Scouts. Just put them on auto explore. We'll see. By some weirdness, you get a religion. I think it should be the cult of aggressive pacifism or the cult of eighteen. It would be really weird if we got a religion this time. Although, I mean, we are going to get a holy site in theoretically in the not too distant future. So I don't know. Housing amenities already an issue. I mean, we don't have a luxury hooked up yet. May the forces of evil be. All right, archery is done. We're pretty far from farming a resource, actually. I think we're gonna have to hard research irrigation. We're gonna want, we need plantations. Ooh, okay. I mean, not everything can go perfectly smoothly, I guess. I will upgrade you to an archer. We're gonna be very happy to have one. Uh, you may as well mine this. Ooh, yep, no, there's not going to be a lot of competition for wonders. In fact, I'm quite happy to let you build them, and then I'll just go and conquer them later. Does that sound cool to you? Sounds pretty cool to me. Oh my god, more mountains! Okay, you're going to go there. Um, if I take a look at this, where is it? Okay, right there. I'm going to stand there. Just keep an eye on things. Still need one error score. Although I don't mind going into the Dark Age here. Because uh, the loyalty issue won't really be too much of a thing. Maybe over here, but probably not. Um, and then we could always Heroic Age. Alright, we got our Sailing Boost, which is nice. 
yes to the monument for some border growth. Yeah, those should be, just be removing the trees, which I don't really want to do here. I'm going to move you up here. We can uh, work the cattle soon enough. Uh, warrior, go ahead and scoot a boot a little. Yeah, I think we should maybe buy the cow tiles right away. I was wondering about that myself. I mean, there's the wonder tiles as well. Um, I may buy this next turn as well, just to cut off Leventa from getting there. But I was just thinking, like, with the uh, the builder here, it's like, probably, yeah, I'm going to send it to there. But we'll see. Da -da 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 -da. All right, next turn. Plus four harbor. Oh, yeah, that's true. Adjacent two ambers. It's pretty nice. Um... Okay, let me get a monument, because we do need those borders to grow a little more so I can get my campus locations, unless I want to keep spending money on buying them, which probably there will be a fair amount of that. Yeah, and we're going to do this, I think. And again, try to grab some of those tiles as quickly as possible. Um, we should be able to come out here anyway. It'll be 4th City, which is a pretty decent number to start. Oh my god! These mountains! Um, buy the rice town and farm it for the Eureka. Yeah, that's not a terrible idea. Um, I mean, so there's the, the, the wonder tiles here, but yeah, maybe I will buy one of these with that plan. Hmm, hopefully these guys move out of the way. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, yeah, you're going to start with the campus... I don't want to re replace the cattle. We need iron workings so we can move rainforest. This is interesting that this is a plus four uh, tile site on the other side. We're going to keep going a little greedy. I'm going to get a builder first. Those mountains ever stop? I don't know, man. Well, well, clearly you have to build some tunnels. Would have been a good one for playing as the Inca, right? All right, classical era, done, done. Or oh, bronze working, okay. Um, make a dedication. We have lots of Eurekas to trigger, so I'm gonna go with that. Um, Farmer resource, yeah. So let me take take off the irrigation for a second. And yeah, bronze working. It's I, I was thinking bronze working reveals iron. I was thinking of it as iron working. Previous versions of Civ and whatnot. So there's someone over there. Ah, Nubia! We haven't seen you in a game in some time. Heh. Heh. Uh, the empanada. Sorry, I almost pronounced that correctly. Oh, my bad, you guys. Uh, the empanada was built. All right, you're gonna come over there and do that. These are all boosted. Building tunnels would be cool. Well, you can, you can. Tunnels are a thing that exists in Civ 6. Although they're fairly late for everyone other than the Incos, I think. This is a little annoying. So we'll come around this way or something. Hey, our first goodie hut! Oh my god. I hadn't realized we hadn't gotten one, but... It's pretty populated terrain, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Another builder here. And yeah, you're gonna settle right there. The man who Boom! Oh. Irrigation boost. Nice. Goody Hut, a governor title. Do we want to do early mag tricks? Not really. I mean, we do have a lot of rainforest. We could cut down. We get bonuses from mag. Cutting down rainforest isn't as much of a priority anymore because you can go and lumber them. That being said, um, cutting rainforest on hills isn't bad because then you can go and just mine it afterwards. And we're going to want a campus over here. You know what? I think I am going to grab mag for the Groundbreaker. Currently the only of Quill's cities I haven't visited is Vastaris. Oh really, Charlie's? 
Dragon Knight. So we could buy some more tiles with some money, but it's going to be a lot of money spent on that. Alright, Early Empire is done. Government change. Um, Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, there. I was thinking we had political philosophy. No, 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 we're still working on it. Um... We might pause State Workforce so that we can get the Eureka, well, the boost anyway. Eureka's for science, but still. Uh, we'll move there. It's going to be okay. And then, yeah, we'll be ready to attack maybe next turn. Um, we'll see. And these city-states are a little in them. Oh, yeah, we're not going to pronounce these properly. Temple of Artemis has been built. Uh, do we care if we get the kill or not? Well, the person who gets the kill will be able to clear it, but I don't think this guy attacked last turn. I, I'll just do this. We'll take the XP. If they steal the kill, oh well. No, oh, and they did not. Boom! Military tradition boost. Very nice. You like that I take out barbarians. Neat. Okay. Hanging Gardens, new. No. I'm going to move you over here. And purchase this tile. Because what we're actually going to do is we're going to start working on our campus. Um... Oh, right, because I don't actually have that yet. I'm like, why isn't it showing me that I can build the campus there? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase that tile. Uh, and I'm going to purchase it now. So that we can do a chop. Magnus is going to be established in a turn. We'll be able to chop it in a turn. We'll chop this and then start our campus. It's going to be kind of lovely. Um, I mean, you could use a little housing. Yeah, okay. Start on that, although we will interrupt it, I'm sure. Yeah, just go on auto explore. Oh yeah, this trade route finished. I think the thing to do. No one else will get a trade route mission. So one of our frontline cities. Oh, there, there's barbarian encampment there. Oh yeah. So we're gonna send you to here. We're gonna wake up this here, and actually you come down here to deal with that. Because I don't want to send a trade route through there. All right, you're good. We're gonna fortify until healed. Yeah, we are very boxed in right now, but um, if we were boxed in and didn't have good campus locations, I would be unhappy. But as is, this is actually not too shabby. We got some science from there. So do we want to run an internal trade route so we can get a road built? And the food and production is quite good early on. I think we sort of have to. Yeah, I think I do have to run this um, just early on. Now these are all going... Granada might have to go just because its coloration keeps making things barbarian, even though there's clearly a pretty significant difference in the I'm background color. In creating a lasting all right, legacy. there is bronze working. Do we have iron? I don't have a pop-up for it, so I'm thinking the answer is no. Oh! Oh! Now I can still build a campus on this, and I would still get the iron. possible. Yeah, buy that tile. Um, I don't know if we can, because the cost doesn't go up. Oh, 65. Okay, we'll buy it now, which will also give us some vision. And make sure it can't get stolen away. And we'll figure out what happens next. I'm going to research astrology, because we weren't going to want some holy sites relatively quick to start boosting that. I'm still wondering... Oh, now I can't build it! I would have had to build it first, right? Yeah, and I want to get the chop up here first. Um, tell you what. Build me a builder. Oh, you've got a builder here. Hold on. Put your production... Start on a granary. And then we'll interrupt you in a second. And then over here. So you're established. Remove the rainforest. Boom. Two turns to the granary completing. We could let it finish. Would have been nice if I could put a chop production towards the campus, but the, the timing, there was no real way to do it.
Yeah, just switch. We'll 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 run the campus up as early as possible. So we'll delay the uh, the granary, even though it only had two turns left to go. We can do some more chops here. Um, if a rainforest is on flat terrain, and especially if it's not in a place where we're going to build a farming triangle, I will probably leave it. But if it's on a hill, I will chop it, and then because then we can get the uh, the production from things. But we will go and hook up the quarry. It's the same thing here. We're going to chop this, put some production towards the granary, but then cancel the granary in favor of a campus right over here. Blam. Okay. It's going to be so much more science than our entire other last game. Oh my god, you abandoned the camp. Arg. So we're not going to be able to get credit for, for clearing it. Maybe because you were targeting the archer? I don't know. You get a promotion for archer. That's nice. And, yep, you're going to go and build a plantation over there. Start to get a little bit of luxury goods. That's going to be useful. Yeah. Mmm. Olives. So delicious. Quill, so used to playing without iron. Will he be able to change his strategy? We had iron last time, and it cost us the game. We had, like, everything except coal. Coal's the one thing I needed. It's like, oh, it's such a good... Oh, we have a title. Astrology. It's such a good aquatic map, you know, we'll get our battleships and we'll just ruin everyone. And then it was like, the game's like, ha ha! Yeah, we're not giving you any um, of that. Um, provision's quite good, although I don't know... We're, I don't think... I think we're going to take a beat on the settlers. I think surplus logistics makes sense, because we actually have a trade route going to our capital right now, and plus two extra food is going to be insanely good. Don't get me wrong, I would love a Liang, too, to make our builders better, but I think there's going to be some high value over there. Um, I do want walls. We're going to build a quarry soon. We could start researching masonry. I mean, so we could get targeted in uh, Gothburg, right? Gothburg. Um, the stairs could also get targeted, too. We may want walls there, but what I'm wondering about is sailing, so we can pop out a couple of galleys and just start exploring. Now, we need, we need to make sure we've got some walls up. It's going to be too important. You are full on your housing already. Oh, we'll just build the granary. That's going to be okay. Yeah, that got cleared. Uh, I'm going to send you back over there. I'll, we'll send you there. You got... This guy will move out of the way. What? No, don't move on to him. Move here. Jesus. Jesus, game. You're aggressive. There's our boost of masonry. Um. Yeah, so rainforest on the hill, so I'm going to chop that. Or maybe I want to save it and then move Magnus later? A strong economy begins with a strong, well-educated workforce. No, we're gonna grab uh, we're gonna grab Liang. Um, is there anyone even building a builder right now? No. There's someone I'd rather get first. Ping's always good. Ping, we would want to put in Stockholm. Right now, Magnus is there. Soft cheese. So wait, soft cheese. So Jota Borg? No, that can't possibly be correct. Is it? The last G is not soft, see? You gotta be specific! But it's still, the first G is soft? So it's Borg at the end, but... Jotteborg? Huh. Alright. That is definitely something I didn't know. I'm like, isn't it about goats? I mean, I guess... But, okay, because there's a Gotland as well, right? The island? Is it pronounced soft or not? And it does it or does it not mean Goat Island? No, Gotland is hard. Is it because of the uh, the difference about having the uh, the umlaut on the O? Is that what it what changes things up, or is it just like turns out Swedish is just like English and many other languages? There's like zero sense of consistency in anything. I'm gonna chop now, rather than moving uh, Magnus around. We're gonna chop. We're gonna get the uh, the campus accelerated. Uh, Jotteberg is more like a two-word name. Oh, okay.
Oh, we got some Tundra. A vowel after it usually determines whether it's soft or hard. Okay. Uh, so you have a promotion, so we're going to take Volley here, because there's likely we're going to have to move you out and do some things. Um, I think I can just automate this worker. That's going to be okay. <laughs> oh, Lackards, you're going to start some arguments here. Zotteberg with a G as in Jif. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't just put on alert mode. The si Chinese science per turn. Yeah, they're already at 67. I mean, and that's the problem. It's like, you know, the others also have a boost. So the problem is, for those of you who don't know, the Aeon data gets something like a 40% boost to their science and culture output. And they start with like four free techs and everything, which means they can campus instantly. Oh, and they start with three settlers. So they can just like spam out tons of cities, drop campuses instantly, and have their huge boost. But yeah, China is uh, has got a pretty crazy number already. Okay, where are we? Where are we here? In um, Jotaburg. We need more builders. There you go. Campus of plus three points or higher. Woo! Statues overturned. Masonry done. We have quite a few places that the water mill could be built. Um, we don't really have the rice or wheat other than over here, which isn't built near a river, so it's not going to be able to take advantage of that, unfortunately. And we, we have to get some of the naval stuff, because we have to get our units to be able to embark around here and things. So we'll do that. What the heck is this burn thing? Grievances. Nubians have declared war against Jerusalem. One of my friends are allies. Okay. So, Deity AI doing the typical thing it does, where it just goes after city-states. They did boost the city-states in one of the more recent patches, so that they're not quite as vulnerable. Because what would happen every game is you just you'd lose all your city-states within the first like 20 or 30 turns of play, because the AI would just raffle stomp them all. Um, I'm going to probably auto-explore for the second guy. up another plantation over here. Delegation's most welcome, that's fine. Watching chat with all this correction stuff is like watching a car crash right now. Ugly but can't look away. Ha 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 ha! Possible era. Sound. Political philosophy is done. Funny thing is, like, I like Autocracy's bonus here for the yields and things, although, you know, we don't really have those. We don't need the military. It's going to be Classical Republic or Oligarchy. We don't really need the combat bonus, so I guess we go Classical Republic. All right. Done. Um, we are going to grab a Diplomatic League, because we're, we're going to send some first envoys. We do have some builders being built. We can do this, and then I think I'm just going to throw Charismatic Leader down here. We don't, we're not really going to save money from conscription. Uh, we are going to build ships soon. But no, I can't, I think I kind of dig this. And we're going to be able to make some changes again pretty rapidly. We'll grab mysticism, because this will give us our ability to get our great scientist points. Or great profit if we want to start a religion. Um, yeah, see. Do we actually just try to sneak in the pyramids? It would add purpose to this one desert tile. The problem is we could get beaten to it, which luckily now at least you get to salvage some of your production. But the big thing is I want to spend 70 on a desert tile that I might not get to take advantage of. We could always throw a, um, we could always throw a uh, another wonder on that tile later on, just to have something, you know. It is not that life for sure is distinct. Sailing is done. Um, we're gonna start working on celestial navigation, are we? Let me pop out the wheel first, actually. It's going to be okay. Machu Picchu's gotten built. So much for that plan. 
Um, pyramids give all your builders an extra charge, which is pretty nice. And individual symbol for a unit. I don't mind the Oracle. So, I think I'm dropped Charismatic Leader here. We're going to go for Inspiration for Great Scientist points. And notice, it does not give us a card for the Prophets. So, we are definitely not founding a religion this time. Only three have been founded, but the fact that uh, I can't get Great Prophet points means that all the Great Prophets have actually been claimed. You can see it's blank there. I think the others are going to spawn soon, and that's okay. We have Military Tradition because we got the boost. Um, we do have the policy where the first uh, person we send somewhere counts as two. I don't know. We'll, we'll send. Uh, we'll send you to Baloney. Mm. Rename the city to Goatberg. Stop all this nonsense. <laughs> Building the pyramids. You don't even have wheels. Poor workers. I don't know. We got like big logs. You can roll things on. It's fine, man. Um. Library. These are all coming in well. You've got the granary, because why not? Um, although, you could change... Oh, no, we we don't actually... Oh, yeah, the next one is the um, uh, the harmer. Okay. Feels weird that there's, like, not a city space over here, you know? So you got a free builder. You got the coastal ember for the Eureka. That's true. Now we don't right now. I don't think we, I think we literally have no builder. We've got one in two turns though. We do need to do two of the amber to be able to get the Eureka for the um, navigation. What's it called? Celestial navigation. Yeah. Sometimes the wheel. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge, but if men make. We are gonna start working towards celestial navigation. We may end up just hard researching it. I don't know. Or was the city space over here? Maybe there is. And I just rushed forward. Rip Jerusalem. Okay, now we share a border. Uh, so, Goatberg over here. We're going to get some uh, ancient walls up immediately. Um, I may as well... I'm going to hook up the copper to give these guys a nice production boost. And then, yeah, I'll run over for the sea resources. You know what? I'm fine with this. I can sell you a little Diplo favor for a bit of a cash injection early on. I think that's pretty good. Is there a difference between a wheel and log use to roll things? I mean, because I think, like, people figured out pretty easily, like, early on. Like, it's easy to kind of roll something that's kind of roundish. I think the invention of the wheel is mostly about the idea of, like, developing an axle. I think it's mostly the invention of an axle is really what we're mostly talking about with the wheel. Like, because it's not the invention of cylinder-shaped thing. A wheel is something that's sort of on a, you know, some sort of hub axle kind of system, I would suggest. Axel Rose. Or for those of you who are fans of Legends of Tomorrow, Axel the Rat. Uh, we're friends with China. I mean, it helps that we don't have a border with them. Well, we're friendly. We're not explicit friends. Um, is it too early to do that? I declare friendship over here? Yeah, we'll do that. Build up a little relationship. Um, money is good here. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase this tile. Oh, you're going to grow in one turn anyway. Never mind. Can I purchase a builder over here? No. Okay, Celestial Navigation. I'm going to change out of you because we're going to get the we're going to get the boost. Um, all right. And now who are we doing? The Stars over here, however you pronounce it. I don't know, whatever. This place. The Visigoths. The Viserius. Something. How do I feel about ancient walls over here? I mean, I'm not feeling a ton of pressure, but soon, yes. I should probably build the ancient walls. If, if we get declared on and we don't have it, it's going to be pretty miserable. I'm going to get there in seven turns. God, it's going to take you a while to get there. I'd like you to repair the rice, too. Unless I just wait. You know what? Hold on. How much is it going to cost to buy a builder? By the time you get there, I'll be able to afford one. Of course, I could just spend the money on something else. But why don't you just stick around here and improve this? Western Hill, Western Ridge. Is that really what that means? Okay, now all of a sudden, all your, are all your Swedish city names, like, super boring just descriptions? I mean, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of that crap in English, obviously, right? Like, there's, like, 50,000 Springfields in the United States. It's like, well, let's see. We're in a field, and there's a spring. This would be a pretty good place to build a settlement. But what should we call it? I don't know. <laughs> Mostly old location names, yeah. Yeah. 
course, um, you know, then then the other half of the cities are just named in North America are named after cities in Europe where people came from. Uh, that is a swordsman. Well, let's back up a whole bunch and do that. Yeah, we'll uh, yeah, we'll just hook up some Benrunners over here. That's going to be okay. Oh, we do have a governor uh, title available. Well, let's get Liang going and let's put you in Vastaris because when we purchase the builder there. Um, well, okay, we can we can purchase it in two turns. We could also wait five turns. No, we'll probably purchase it before then. Ah, oh, boo! Money. He chased us down. If he does That's not just rude. He didn't even have vision. I think I think the barbarians don't need the vision the same way. See, we can get this in one turn. Like, I don't know. I guess it's still worth waiting. Everyone wants to buy my um, my Diplo power. I'll take it. Thirty gold plus change. It's not much, but we'll take it. Send an envoy. So we still want to go and send uh, one envoy to each one of these because it'll count as two. If it just buy it now. Getting the Builder early versus getting more value out of the Builder because it's going to have two charges. Actually, what I may have wanted to do is purchase a Builder here to get a chop. wasn't thinking about that. Watch us lose the Pyramids with one turn left. Okay. From the height of these pyramids, 40 centuries look down on us. Yep, yeah, free builder. Oh, yeah, it's not extra charge. It's all builders getting next. Oh, no, no, yeah, one extra improvement. I was seeing one extra movement, but yeah. Um, so free builder and then no, the extra charge is, is going to be really useful for the rest of the game. Very handy dandy. Do apprenticeship. Um, yes, the library. Uh, you finished your library. You can go and finish your granary now. Why not? Um, what I'm going to do, since that got cleared out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you over here. Do that. Yes, so we can hook you up. That's going to be okay. Great library got built somewhere as well. That's being built. One more turn, then we'll purchase a dude. And yeah, at some point we got to improve that iron. Or we might just be able... Um, no, actually, we can't work that iron. I mean, it might come within the borders at some point, but that's going to be pretty far away. China's going to be pissed because we got a wonder. I suppose that's true. I think China's fine as long as it has more than we do. I think it doesn't mind that you built a wonder. Are you going Orc Candy as well? Now, you do have, like, some early Archer-type stuff, so I think that's allowing her to go a little bit more aggro. But uh, our wall of city-states is now all of a sudden become a, a big Nubian problem, more than anything else. Uh, I suspect we'll just be forced to go to war with them at some point. Okay, housing's a little full. You are on a river, you can get the water mill. Or we could start an early encampment, although I'd really want to buy a tile. Okay, you're established, so before I spend my money on something accidental... I'm going to buy the builder over there. Okay. We can't buy a tile right now. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is buy, build an archer. Because we need to get three archers so we can boost crossbows. And that might be our go time. Yeah, I'm going to send you to Stockholm for the maximum food. Plus, we'll get the road along the coast over here, which seems okay. Granada's red, Sweden's blue. I built the pyramids and not you. <laughs> nice. Nice. Right, so you're going to come down here. You already bought some things for me. You've done that. You may as well build the farm while you're here. Save some movement for later. Done and done. Uh, 
probably a good idea to capture Ganon. Um, it probably will. I don't usually declare on city states, but I think it's just going to be like perfect. Some of which actually. Governors happened. give loyalty. Campus adjacency bonus. Yes, sir. I'll drop Illicum. Because that was the other thing. Like, not only did we not have adjacency bonuses in the last game, actually, it happens quite often. It, so that's bad by itself, but then you're, it's double bad because you don't get the second boost of tech from grabbing Natural Philosopher. I think I can drop Diplomatic League at this point because I think. Uh, hold on. Close the menu. Check city states. La Venta doesn't have one yet. Okay, I'll keep Diplomatic League then. Drop Ilkum and just throw out Natural Philosophy, and then I think leave the rest in here is going to be okay. On campus, going to be nuts. So we got 34 tech. I mean, <laughs> deity AI, man. Uh, we're not going to found a religion, so we can just hard research theology now. That's going to be okay. We'll go ahead and improve that. Um, we'll just keep improving some tiles over there. That's going to be okay. So, normal era for us, I guess, is going to have to be fine. You're going to go over there. Uh, Jebel Barkle got built. We built a lot of wonders last game, which is part of some of the tempo problems, but... Okay. Stockholm. That's huge adjacency, but costs us the bananas. Which, I mean, is a bonus resource, not a luxury resource? We did spend a charge on it, but it's not the end of the world. Hmm. You know what I want? I want to have Victor. I'm really, like, I'm worried there's going to be an early war over here. I know it doesn't actually help us. This is like, so this is the opposite of greed. This is us falling back to defensive deity behavior. I think having Victor over here in Goat Town is going to be an excellent idea. I'm really tempted to build a holy site here. I think I will. What I should have done is not built an improvement there. I should have just harvested the banana. Yeah, rip bananas. And rainforest. Like, you could have harvested the bananas, the rainforest, the different things, a little pre-planning. Oh, well. Especially with uh, Magnus there. It would have been amazing. I guess I could have still done it. I could have, like, got a builder, removed the plantation, and gone through the whole thing, but I think it's better to just start the holy site now. Speaking of... Now, the cattle is different. Much more important. Uh... I say that. It's actually not as strong of a tile as I would have thought. Why? I guess so. Although, it'll get more modifiers later on. We could buy a tile and build it here. Let me do this. We'll, we'll clear some things before I start. Okay, we'll do that. That'll be Eureka, so let's go navigation. Hooray, hurrah. We'll finish the walls over here, and then what we'll do is we'll build a harbor. Ever heard of bananas growing in Sweden? There is no easy way. I don't know. With all the rainforest around, sort of a tropical Sweden we've got going on here. Might just do some partial researches here. Done and done. We did get our cattle. We gotta repair this tile too, but... <sighs> Rip candy. Uh, who's got loyalty problem? That might recalculate in turn. Okay. We need a watermill at some point for a boost. I'll park you in there. Oracle's been built. Candy's been defeated. Sure, sure, fine, fine.
Oh, the other side of the mountains for the, um, yeah, maybe. Uh, the holy site. We need to, like, explore the other side. Potentially get a city there. Although it'd be hard to defend. Alright, let's start working on this. Um, you, I absolutely want to harbor. Um... I clearly clicked on the wrong button. I was really confused. Why does it want me to build the harbor on land? There was a, like a big like pause there as my brain was like, hold on a sec. All right, Laventa. So we're gonna get two for one over there. So then we can switch out of that policy. Thing is we lost our envoys with a couple of our, our potential neighbors here, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, there's a plantation that's it's gonna be okay. Is this a hill? Yeah, you got two builds left. Okay, you'll need one to chop and then one to build. Okay, so we'll repair first. Yeah, but I'll chop the rainforest hill. I mean, we are going to build some special districts. I wonder if we get more error score from this. We actually are, have quite a few we plan on building, so I'm going to do that. I mean, I'm not, like, mathing it out. Which, ideally, we should, you know. How many, how many Eurekas can I expect? How many Inspirations? How many districts? Um, yeah, we don't know. I know. Some, someone will vote for something. Whatever. That. Um, I don't know. Here. I, I don't really care. It's not going to make a difference. Okay. Uh, repair on the rice. Thank you. Um, you're going to offer me citrus for some votes. Mm, no. Ha! <laughs> Wuhan! Um, let's stay away from there. Let's see. If you just want to give me, like, gold per turn or something. Yeah, I'll give you some votes on an open border for some gold per turn. It's going to help us start to move a little faster. Hey, John Curtin! I speak for the people Good of night, Australia Mike. as their Prime Minister. We seek sympathetic allies in the fight Twitch against the Twitch chat requests you capture one. Uh-oh. Special session. China wants aid. All right, I'll upvote it because people are likely to vote that. I think it'll give us a thingy. I don't know if we'll aid him. Ooh, holy sight. There you go. Some error score there. Construction complete. Games and rec complete. Inspiration there. Okay, done. Many things happened very, very quickly. Uh, we are very unlikely to build an aqueduct, so I'm just going to hard research military engineering right away. Reveal um, NIDER. I don't think there's anything. Is that the boost to naval tradition? No, I'm just misreading that. I, I was seeing the, the purple thing. I think we already got it filled in. Uh, target of war deck. Okay, well, let's just do this for now. Twenty turns. What did we unlock here? The insula. Oh, we can drop Diplomatic League. We'll grab Charismatic Leader. It's whiskey yeah, we know about the iron over here. That we can't quite reach. Hey, Quill, do you know why the Swedish Navy have barcodes on their side of their ships? It's so that you can scan the Navy in? Is that is that it? That must be it. That's terrible. <laughs> Boo! Says Buff. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna remove the rainforest. And, yeah, we'll just go ahead and mine on that. That's gonna be okay. Ten turns on the harbor. It's a fair bit of an improvement. We got a decent amount of gold. What do we want to do with it? Could buy more tiles. Could buy a builder, which is always good to sort of snowball things. We might be able to get a settler over here. Um, I don't know if that's worth trying. How much would a settler cost us? Yeah, way too much. I think we might just buy a builder 
over here. Because we have a Liang and everything, this builder would have a lot of charges. Tile purchases. I don't know, maybe I just sit on it for now. Mojave City and Petra. Mm, would be nice, huh? Let's just wait for now. If we get declared on, we can buy some units. We might sneak in a settler. We'll see. Do I want to go all the way to a temple? Buying great people is pretty handy. Whoops. Sorry. Just whacked the mic a whole bunch. Mind the iron. I mean, would be lovely. I mean, it's going to be a long trip, but I guess we can walk over there. Yeah, I think we've got to get the government plaza going. Yeah, I'll just eat some tile here. We'll get the government plaza started. Um, I wonder if we're going to grab the settler thing. Normally we do. Normally that's just what we grab, but now I'm not sure. It's interesting, we could build an encampment on the other side, so we build units there. Is that a plus four faith tile? Yeah, okay. Let's just grab this. Consume the sheep. You know what? Sure, it's fine. I would like a tile here to be able to build an encampment on the front line. I think it's probably worth it. Buy one of these two. Doesn't really matter which one. This one might be better, because there might be more units that come from this angle. I don't think it matters too much. I mean, I could build it here. It's flat. No, I like I like as forward as possible. Plus, it like denies a tile. Yeah, we're going to buy build an encampment right over here. He's got some units. I'm a little concerned that bad things might happen. Um, Alright, it's kind of a stupid long trip, but we do need to get some iron hooked up because we may need to build a swordman or two. We don't need much. We still need a uh, third archer, too. As I say, I kind of feel we're about to get declared on, so I'm going to switch. Yes, I'm, I'm completely surprised by this war. Um, that's a lot of... Yeah, no. I think we're just dead. And Oh, and you got all the city-states, too. Well... I could buy a warrior. Oh, and you've got crossbows? No, we're just done. Guys, it's just... This is just the end of the uh, the run here. Dead. Start was so good. It was nice, but... You know, we gotta focus on trying to whittle down the range. The pro yeah, he's got way too much range. He's just gonna be able to rip through the walls in a second. Uh, unless I kill the, uh, the swordman just so he doesn't have a melee unit. Or she doesn't have a melee unit. But likely she's gonna be able to bring someone in there. In the not too distant future. Ow. Um, yeah, we can do a policy change. I guess we could have last time, maybe, to boost the, the military strength. Um, I guess I should change, like, everyone, maybe, to try to just cram out, um, some archers. Just interrupt whatever you're doing. I mean, I think it's just over, but we'll see. Units defending your city get plus five strength. Other cities within get loyalty. Can't be put under siege. I'll grab this. I mean, see, see why I put Victor here, though? Like, there was definitely a sense early on. Oh, see, so this is the archer's just dead. Yep, 
Yeah, you've got more melee coming. No, that's it. That's the run, you guys. We had a really strong start, and it's, like, not even close. I mean, here's the thing. What if I hadn't built the pyramids, right? You know, we could have maybe gotten the archer out a little sooner. Maybe we could have got a little more tech going a little faster. Maybe we'd have... No, we wouldn't have crossbows at this point. Yeah, no. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up. If it's natural to kill. How how come come it doesn't take all your shooting now to learn how. Good fell. I mean, they ran out of city states and they were like, we must come for you. Yeah, that is that. Um I'm not gonna start another Civ game right now, because it would be weird. We'd only get like a few turns in. Um so just for like be and then yeah, we'll just start a fresh run next week because it'll just be like it'll I don't know, it'll just be nice to have like the story sort of in, in one set here, I think. Uh, woo. Um That's I mean, there's a little something. Maybe I could have flipped someone else. I don't know. Yeah, and you're like so dead over here. Mm-hmm. I think it'll still be Sweden again. There's not a time for Slay the Spire either. I don't know. Someone mentioned earlier 15 minutes for Slay the Spire games. Like, I don't know how you play Slay the Spire. And especially if we do Twitch voting, it's going to take longer than that. Mm -hmm. Is there something I can sneak in for like 15 minutes? Or half an hour? We got about half an hour. I mean, a really fast Slay the Spire, maybe, but not if you're doing voting. It's just going to be derpy. Slay the Spire for sure. Lots of people want it. I mean, we could do a multiplayer game of Underlords, but... You know, okay, we could just try to speedrun Slay the Spire. We could do a Warcraft 3 mission! Let's do a Warcraft 3 mission. Or don't worry about the voting. Do people want Slay the Spire or Warcraft 3? Get in your votes now. Mm -hmm. Oh, lots of people want Warcraft 3. Excellent! Oh, that's not how I thought it would go. And it's pleasing me greatly, because that's, I think, what I was like. No, I think that's where my brain is. 